Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss how to access DynamoDB from .NET code. So the steps that we are going to perform in this video, let us write down in a notepad. So I'm opening a notepad. The first step, we will create a table in Amazon console. Man through Amazon management console, we will create a table, a DynamoDB table. So create a DynamoDB table. in AWS through management console. And the second step that we are going to perform is we will open the Visual Studio .NET Lambda function through which we want to connect to the DynamoDB and we will install the required NuGet packages. And the third step, we will write code to access the DynamoDB table and fetch the data write dotnet code to access dynamodb table and fetch data so let us quickly start our first step let me <clears throat> log into the management console this is my management console <clears throat> and this is the dynamodb service if uh, to go to the service you can just click on this services and you can see it in the recently viewed visited window uh, if you not find if you do not find it you can search for dynamodb and you you can get it so dynamodb is a managed no sql database so managed no managed means we don't need to provision any servers all provisioning of servers and everything will be done by aws we can just concentrate on creating the tables and maintaining the tables so this is the serverless approach for so dynamodb is a serverless approach now we are going to create a table. Let me click on this create table and the table name we are going to provide is customer. So remember the names we have we are giving here uh, and in the .NET we have to provide the same names. So here that table name we are giving as customer in the .NET code we will give the class name as customer. And the partition key let us give as customer ID and let me put it as string itself and remaining all other settings i am leaving as is so i am clicking on create table now this is going to create a table with the name customer <clears throat> and in the second step we will insert the, some records into the table so the status is in creating mode so let us just refresh it is active now go open this and scroll down here to insert a record here in the actions. We'll just click on create item. Customer ID, we will provide a GUID. We will generate a GUID free, through the free online tool. Click on this generate button and select this and provide the value here. And the new attribute, let me create a new attribute of string and give the name as customer name and the value is Amazon. So let me click on create item. Now we have created one item, let me create another item. So uh, here, items go to the items and here let me open this table actions and create one more item let me create another grid guid and the attribute name customer name let me give this customer name as Microsoft create item. So we have two items, two records in our table. So we have performed the first step of creating a DynamoDB table in Amazon Management Console. And we will go to the Visual Studio, the Lambda function we have already created in my previous video. You can check if you want. So this is the Lambda function in the previous video that I have created. So let me close all the tabs. 
So we we need to require we need to install the required NuGet package to access this Dynamo DB table. So first of all, let me go to the Solution Explorer, right click, manage NuGet packages. Here the browse for Amazon.DynamoDB. We need to install this NuGet package. Amazon.dynamodb.v2 model. Where is that? This mode, this one. AWS SDK.dynamodb.v2. Amazon DynamoDB is a fast and flexible NoSQL database service for all applications that need a consistent single digit latency. So let us install this NuGet package because we want this NuGet package to be installed to access the DynamoDB table from our .NET code. So let me install this. It is going to get, it is going to install. Now see, it is show, showing in red, green color tick mark. So this has got installed. So now let us go to our function. So we have created the Dynamo DB table with the name customer. So we need to provide the same name to our class. So let us create the class with the same name and the same properties that we have provided there. And this is the property customer ID. So let us give the property the same name. Customer ID. And here we need to provide the type as GUID. And the second property we have given as customer name. Let me copy it here and paste it there. Customer name, it is showing as the intelligence. So let us keep as is this customer name. So remember this point, we need to provide the same names how we have declared in our DynamoDB. And here, let us remove this. So we are getting the input as GUID. We are getting the customer ID as input. And let us create a new context, DynamoDB context, where DynamoDB context equal to new DynamoDB context. This is here. See here, once we add it, the namespace will be added automatically. Here, DynamoDB V2 dot data model. Okay, DynamoDB context of new Amazon DynamoDB client. This one we need to give. And we are going to return the customer we are going to fetch the customer details so where customer detail where customer just to give his customers equal to dynamo db context dot get async context dot load async we have a method called load async so in that we need to provide the type as customer and the input as customer id so we are going to return this So here we need to change the type as customer. Again, what is this saying? Customer is not null here, cannot implicitly. So here we need to use, as we have used async, we need to use the keyword await. And here also async it got automatically added and we need to change this type as task.
now the all errors are gone now let us run the code and we will pass the customer id and fetch the customer details for example we will get this customer id so we will let us copy this customer id so we should get the microsoft we should load the microsoft customer so i am running in debug mode Here we need to provide that customer ID and we need to click here execute function. So we have provided this customer ID and we are going to load that customer. See now if you see over the edge, so we have written returned this Microsoft customer. Similarly, if you we can also fetch this customer, Amazon customer. So let me copy it and rerun it. It is loading. So let us provide this customer ID. Click on execute function. Now we will get that customer Amazon as we have provided the Amazon customer's ID. See Amazon. So let me click on F5 now. Now if you go here and see the response, so we will get this Amazon customer here, right? So guys, in this way, we can connect to Amazon DynamoDB through our Visual Studio.NET code. Actually, how it is connecting to AWS means here first we have provided uh, the profile. So internally, if you go over the mouse here, Amazon DynamoDB client and click on F12, it will get the credentials. And from where it will get the credentials, it will get the AWS credentials that first we have connected uh, here. You remember the profile by giving the profile details, we have provided the profile details and we have provided the client ID and client secret. And they got saved in this local computer in a folder users.aws credentials file along with the profile details. So it will go and fetch those profile and credentials and it will connect to the Amazon, Amazon DynamoDB. And also it has full access permissions to connect to the DynamoDB table. So because we have already given the full permissions which are required to connect to the DynamoDB table. So that is why it is able to connect and fetch the details. In this way, we can connect and fetch the DynamoDB in this way. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you.